This is really cool. I mean, the ceramic six, it looks like it's out of ceramic. How'd you do that? Yeah, I mean, this this particular effect, it's a, it's a matte white pearl, and we call it ceramic because that's literally what we wanted it to look like, almost like an aerospace type of look and feel. It's very technical, but at the same time with this kind of, we call it taupe silver uh, graphic effect, still very elegant and fitting with the Mazda 6 design. Um, this is all masked and painted, and believe me, this was not easy to do. We really had a big challenge on our hands with this. But I think the end result really complements the, the Mazda 6's design. Was this more difficult to do than the um, Vector 3 on the paint shop? I, I believe so, yeah, because just, just because of all the lines and how we had to have everything to intersect was just really difficult to work out and just required a lot of hand masking. Well, the lines really remind me when you're in the design suit, when you're scanning the body surface data, that's what really reminds us, like, it looks like an engineering blueprint, if you will, from a certain angle. That's right, and, and like, as with the vector concept over here, the, you'll notice that in many cases, the lines change direction when they hit a particular feature on the car, and that really enhances, the, I think, kind of highlights the lines, actual lines of the car. No, this is uh, really stunning. Let's uh, go take a look at the interior. You did some yeah, nice we did there. a ton of work on the interior. Let's take a look. This is the interior of the ceramics. Like Derek, these seats, they don't look like car seats. They almost look like fine furniture. Yeah, I mean, it's funny you say that because that was really kind of the inspiration. We were looking at furniture design, um, fashion design. Think of like fine leather goods and shoes. I know it sounds crazy, but that's kind of the foundation for the inspiration. And you can see here we've taken these two very subtle tones of uh, white leather, and then we've interwoven them to create this dynamic graphic, ties into the exterior, and really gives this feeling of sophistication um, to the car. And I think that's something that we've been trying to do throughout our interiors, even down to things like fine stitching on the dash and on the seats, really creating this theme throughout the interior. Again, you normally don't see this in uh, a vehicle in this class, and that's kind of a big priority for us uh, with our interior designs at Mazda. No, this is stunning. I mean, I think when people get in the regular Mazda 6, they're impressed with the quality, but this is, you know, to that whole next level. But it's great to see you guys pushing the limits. Yeah, and hopefully you'll see more of this treatment um, in our future products as they come to market because, like I said, that's our priority right now. That's where our design is really, really focused. Great job. We can't wait to see what you got up the sleeve at the LA and Detroit and all the next coming shows. We got, you know, the pipeline's full of great products. So now we're looking at the Vector 3, which, all right, did the name come before the design or did you name it after you designed it? No, we named it after we designed it, but in designing it, you know, it was all about what we've been calling these Vector graphics. And this is all, all about this um, progressive line work that kind of fra fragments into se separate lines and creates kind of motion, you know? And we we're trying to think of the name and, and we just came up with vector, like vector graphics, you know? And uh, it, the, the name stuck, you know? You know, as a former engineer, you know, vector is a force and a direction. So that's kind of fitting for this, but these graphics are stunning. I hope they show up on the video because they're really subtle and almost a ghost light. Yeah. And these are really affected by the light, especially outside. So when you see it in, in midday, you get this really cool gradation effect uh, over the car. And what's really cool here, the base paint of the car is soul red, just like our production. But then we came through and made three other shades of red. Uh, it starts with the light it, lightest and then slightly darker and as we move down the side of the car it gets darker and then darker once again all the way at the base. So when it's outside you get this really cool shaded effect um, and it really enhances the overall kind of shadow graphics that, that we've been developing. And another key point here is just the dynamic of the, the, the lines. These kind of vector lines start up front and as they go down the side of the car again they kind of enhance the lines of the car and you see there's like intersections that take place and then it breaks into a smaller area and kind of creates this reflection type quality to the rear of the car and all of this is meant to be somewhat subtle you know but still enhancing the overall dynamic and design of the car and this is all pure paint this is not graphics this is paint yeah, you'll see a ton of wraps here at SEMA. We don't wrap our cars, we do um, all paint work.
we have a couple of decals here and there for graphics, uh, but all of these paint effects that you see on our car here today are done by masking and spraying the car. Well, you've got your own spray booth and you've got a very talented painter on your team. Yeah, we have um, Andy Withy is our painter and he is unbelievable. He does a great job and uh, you met my graphics team earlier on. Nubia is the designer behind this and she spent so much time masking this and taping it and redesigning it and to get to this point and I think it's, uh, it's, been, it's come out really successful.